You know, it is not uncommon to turn on Delmarva Life and see Lisa or Corey or Sydney or me cuddling up to a cat or a dog on Delmarva that needs a home. As a matter of fact, we bring you Pet Connect every week. But we understand not everybody is in a position to be able to adopt an animal. Still, we know that a lot of people, maybe you, want to help the sweet little animals that need it, and there are a lot of them here on Delmarva. So WWOC and Sherwood Automotive's next Rising Tide event will aim to meet that need. Here with us this afternoon is owner of Sherwood Automotive. This is Bruce, Roger, uh, Bruce Rogers, and with him is shelter manager of the Wicomico County Humane Society, Siobhan Wyatt. Thank you so much for joining us Good today. Good afternoon. Thank Wonderful you. Good afternoon. So we're doing here. it again. Thank yes. you for doing this again. Rising Tide is here again. I don't know how it could possibly be, but if anybody has been under a rock, could you please give us an overview of Rising Tide? Well, thank you. That's a great introduction. Rising Tide is about helping the community, and Sherwood Automotive get, teams up with WBOC to ask people in the community in Delmarva to come in and help different charity organizations that, that need some help and need some attention. So together with Sherwood and the community and all of you, we come together to do wonderful things for our wonderful community. Okay, Rising Tide. Why Rising Tide? Rising, ti rising Tide lifts all all communities. If everybody comes together with a rising tide, we all come together and it all pulls us together to help a common cause. And we pick different organizations, different charities around the community to to uh, to assist and help or ask everyone out there to assist and help. Right. And right now the Humane Society could never be a more important time with all the things with horses and certainly right. uh, kitten season and dog season and that sort of thing. But really um, all year round, all year, but right now it's really important that if everybody could pitch in and bring some things to help out our wonderful our wonderful pets and our wonderful furry friends, that would be terrific and that's what we're asking for. So Siobhan, cats, dogs, and horses. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell now us about, horses. about your need. So right now our most prevalent needs are going to be specifically for the horses we're looking for feed, not hay, gently use halters and leads. Um, it's going to help with the about 20 or so horses that we are going to have in our care. Um, now as far as dogs and cats, We've got kitten season coming up, and mm -hmm. we get inundated every year. So a few of the basics are the dry cat food, wet cat food, but then also a product called KMR. It's a kitten milk replacement, and it comes in a powdered and a liquid formula that helps us wean kittens onto dry food. Okay. And helps with the um, like abandoned motherless litters that come into the shelters. Gotcha. Makes sense. So donations like this through Rising Tide are huge for you, aren't they? They make the biggest difference and it helps us really help the um, homeless animal population on the shore. All right, so Bruce, uh, this is, I guess, uh, an opportunity to, for you to show the community how much you care and you do this a lot and you care a lot. Well, we do it six times a year and we do it every other month and this particular event happens on Wednesday, April 11th mm -hmm. from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and it's about all of us coming together and, and taking some things that you know, whether you buy them on Amazon or go to the local store or you have them in your home, you can have a place to help out, help other furry friends, right, that can't help <laughs> themselves. Um, but it's really, it's really easy. It's, it's easy for everyone to pitch in for us to gather together and give it to the people that do a wonderful job every day, you know, uh, of the year right. and to make a difference to our wonderful little furry friends. You know, putting you in the hot seat is really difficult, but I'm going to give it a shot. Why okay. do you care so much? I think it's about your makeup, right? I think that's who you are when you're, yeah. it's my mother's fault, how's yeah. that? <laughs> but you know, I think it's a, a business responsibility to give back to the community. You have to take care of your people that work with you, the people in the community, and part of a business. Part of our mission, vision, value statement is to give back to the community that supports you. So it's just part of our makeup and part of our, our vision that we try to give back to the community. We, we love this community and we want to support it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Okay, so go over the uh, drop-off locations for Wednesday the 11th. Yes, it's Wednesday the 11th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And certainly if you came, came in on Tuesday, we would take your You'd things. You'd be okay with that? Okay, we good. would, or, right. or Thursday, right? <laughs> yeah. um, but anything that involving cats, dogs, certainly horses right now with dry food, for particularly no hay because there's, there's a storage issue, situation there. Right. Uh, but anything, with, whether it's halters or uh, something you may not think about, detergent, so we can wash the towels and the, and the things that keep the, the animals clean and, the and the, right, the bedding. So uh, towels and laundry detergent and wipes and things like that that happen around a you know a veterinarian type um, sanitary area to right. keep everything clean and safe and neat. So, okay, so drop off in salt and peanut area. butter. And how peanut? about that peanut, <laughs> peanut, peanut butter so you can stuff it into little dog toys? I, right, what, what do you think about that? Right, yeah. how about that? So even peanut butter. They love their peanut butter filled Kongs. Crunchy? How about that? 
Creamy? It doesn't matter. Who doesn't knows? Matter. Dogs right. might like either one. So drop off locations are Salisbury. Salisbury or Cambridge. Or Cambridge. Or Milton or Dover at WBOC oh, in Milton or Dover. Right. Mm -hmm. And then certainly either location on either side of the road here in fabulous Salisbury. Uh, at, you know, the 1900, like 1902, 1915, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. Right, where all the automotive stuff where is. All the, all the good stuff that is. Sherwood stuff, all yes. the good Sherwood stuff. Yes. Um, so thank you. You're looking forward to a good turnout, Siobhan. I am. It's, it's going to make the biggest difference. And it's not just benefiting the Humane Society of Wicomico County. It's the Brandywine Valley, uh, SPCA, the Baywater in Dorchester, and then I think it's First State in Camden. Right. So it's okay. not just us. It's going and it's staying on the shore. So it, it makes a difference right here in the community. So coming up on Wednesday. So thank you. Do. Siobhan, thank you. Thank Bruce, you. see you thank Wednesday. You for everything. See you but Wednesday. Thank you. Now, if you would like to know more about the Rising Tide event, all you have to do is go to delmarvalife.com.